on the F8 here. Our standard F8 is to explain the differences between the three major types of antioxidants. So they're listed right here, and we'll just take a look at them. So we have antioxidants. What do they do first? Uh, again, remembering back to the standard level content. Um, and antioxidants we're looking about, they inhibit the formation of free radicals. So in the last content area on oxidative rancidity, we looked at the formation of free radicals and how those free radicals could uh, form those hydroperoxides um, in the initiation step. Well, what these do is they inhibit that initiation step or they disrupt that initiation step. So there's three types of examples here. One um, are free radical quenchers. So these things stop the free radical formation, BHA, BHT. Um, how they do that is by forming right away and kind of taking that free radical, that extra electron away from the free radical. Um, our chelating agents, they reduce the concentration of the free metal ions in solution, so they remove any, um, any metal ions that could easily be oxidized. So they, they fix around them. So EDTA, ethyldiamine triastate. So what that is going to do is it's going to form around the metal ion and take it out of the solution so that it cannot oxidize um, and provide electrons. Um, there's plant extracts that do the same thing, rosemary tea, ground mustard. Um, EDTA is the big one that's used kind of as a food additive to uh, take those free metal ions out of the solution. Um, Finally, the third kind is our reducing agents, so things that donate electrons um, or remove concentrations of oxygen. So again, to inhibit oxidation, we have to remove the concentrations of oxygen, and those are things like vitamin C and carotenoids that we've talked about earlier.